Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simple Tarot. Okay. Gemini, this is a reading for you. I am currently working on the Gemini album on YouTube. I have finished Aquarius and I have finished Aries. Um, so, yeah, you may want to go and check those out. See if you're drawn to any of the titles. Um, you may have Aries or Aquarius in your birth chart. And I am working on Gemini at the moment. I will have that done shortly. Okay. If you like the content that I do put out, give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. And feel free to share out the readings. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's see what we get for Gemini. For Gemini... Okay, what does Gemini need to know? Okay, they flipped one. Carrying a lot of burden. Okay, what kind? What's this? What's this about? Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, this is over pain. Someone got their heart broke and they're carrying a lot of burden from it. Wands, clarify, please. Having to make decisions about stand how you're going to stand your ground. Okay, and that's on someone's mind. Three of Swords, not very happy. Uh, someone hurt someone, and they're not happy. The sun is reversed. It's you know sadness. Waiting for some news. Someone's waiting for some news from someone. Yeah. See the high priestess. Uh, I need to follow one's intuition. I feel like that someone also may watch readings such as this. And it's like someone is waiting. They're waiting on some form of news. It may have to do with uh, stability, it feels like. Okay. Cups. Knight of Wands is reversed. Okay, someone um, <laughs> more keeping stuck. Okay, Nine of Cups is normally about um, look. Oh my goodness. Okay, Nine of Cups is normally about wish fulfillment, wish come true. A lot of a lot of emotion. Well, someone's got a lot of emotion. But when I clarify, I'm coming up with the Knight of Wands and the Emperor reversed. This is a tyrant. So this is a tyrant that is, it feels like, at the moment, something, they're stuck. It's like they can't, um, I don't, it, it's almost a, a feeling, oh my goodness, they can't master their emotions. Nine of Cups is all, look, emotions. See all those cups? Okay, this person can't master their emotions. Ooh. Mercy, who are you dealing with? Gemini. Okay, mercy me. Seven of Pentacles, please clarify. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. You've sowed, sown some, somebody sown some seeds having to do with stability. Um, see, that's about saving. That's about uh, trying to earn, trying to put away, trying to take care of things. Tell us more. All in your head. Someone's all in their head. Okay, I feel like, and it's a, it needs to be, balance needs to be brought to um, this. Okay, making decisions all on your own. Now, you're, I feel like, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is who, this is who, this is who has hurt you. See here? And if it's you, then you hurt someone. But, I'm, I'll tell you, I feel like that for the most of you, someone who is like a tyrant, this is like someone who is very bossy. They don't know how to most, uh, they don't know how to um, balance their emotions. They're all over the place. And they're very um, egotistical, very, um, what they've done is it feels like they have made you very unhappy. They've hurt you. 
they've made you have to figure out, you know, question how you're going to be able to figure things out and how you're going to be able to, to stand your ground. And it's put burden on you. You've got burden on you. And you're trying, it feels like, you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you're all in your head. Um, stuck in your head. Because you're trying to bring balance to this whole thing. It feels like alone. And there may be children involved. So, this, you know, you could be, this could be either a partner. You know, this could be um, a parent to your child. And you don't even have to be with them, but it's like, you know, they're all about them, don't have a master of emotions, they're very bossy, egotistical. And, um, but this, you know, it's going to be different for different people. Yeah, see, balance needs to be brought back to this. It's not balanced. Oh my goodness. See, you got the high priestess twice. You're, you're needing to see this for what it is. Okay. So you need to see this person for who they are. You need to see them for who they are. You can't get any further. It, it feels like it's a halt. Four of Wands. You got to bring back balance to your family, to your home. Um, yeah, that's what you've got to do. Or you need to do that. You don't got to, but you need to. Um, see, you got the devil card. So, there's a need to really see things for what they are. Cut out whatever's toxic here. And it feels like it has to do with this person. Even if that means standing alone. You know, uh, really seeing things for what they are. Moving away from what what is not good for you and your family. Why is the devil card here? Why is... You could be dealing with a uh, C. This is the person. The person that you are involved with, they've got something toxic attached to them. Now, some of them could be... Um, and I'm going to tell you why I feel that way. is because we've got all of these reversals over here for the person. See, that's you. The thing is, is this person has so many reversals over here. They've got the Emperor, they've got the Knight of Wands, and then we've got the Devil card. Now, like I said, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But, on the other hand, you know, whenever I was clarifying, this tells me there's something, you know, this is like family. This is, uh, you know, a relationship. Yeah. I feel like you're coming in with the Queen of Wands. And it's like you're having to deal with everything. And I feel like that whatever is going on with this person that's toxic is affecting the family. It's negatively affecting your home. So they need to clean um, they need to clean themselves up, clean up whatever's wrong, or whatever, you know, has got them all in a way they need to clean that up they need to yeah see tower universe is going to twist things around move things around because this is no good it's it's out of balance see look there is another person this person could have you in a third party situation queen of cups reversed that's not someone that's very caring loving okay who is this queen of Cups reversed, not Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, this Queen of Cups reversed, we got the Four of Cups, they're dwelling because they want a future with either you or this person. So, whoever put some, whoever put the other person in a third party situation, well, the third party's not happy about it. They're fueling, they're, they're, on fire about this because they wanted a new beginning and it's not happening they're dwelling on it Man. third party situation here now for you you all that this is not a third party situation 
then you know just take away what is for you and leave the rest behind okay get ready we go have some drama okay temperance is here this has to be balanced out um, there's going to be some form of drama between these three people um, someone is, you know, it feels like they're going to, it's, it's going to be all about their cup, all about what they give, all about what they have to give. And, um, it's, it's almost a feeling like, oh, they cannot do without this relationship. They just can't. They're, you know, they're so, so connected. It's that type of feeling. But, we get the world card. So, we got an ending something a cycle is ending changes are going to happen whether someone likes it or not because it, it's this is not got a good feel to it it has to change you know third party uh, <laughs> yeah that's no good Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it's a feeling like once you make it through this with this person, if you're the one that is being really treated badly, this person here, then... Once you make it through all of that, it feels like, you know, you can have the right one for you. <laughs> you got to get through all that. And you're dealing with people that are, oh my goodness, they need to heal. Excuse me. Because they have got so much emotional, it's like they're all over the flipping place. Yeah, they are. So that's what I have for you. I know this is kind of out there. Um, like I said, it's going to be different for different people. For some of you, this is a, you know, a relationship that you're in right now. For some of you, uh, this could be, you know, a relationship that you're not currently in. Maybe this is uh, your ch child's um, mother or father, you know, and you're having to deal with a lot of crap from them. Um, for some of you, this could be a, I'll be honest with you, for some of you, this could be your child going through this kind of stuff. It's going to be different for different people. It's, that's the way it works. So, yeah. But uh, thank you so much for being with me, and um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I feel, I, okay, I'm going to do an extended on this. Um, the link will be below. And we're just going to dig a little deeper.